It's an important day for us. That's why we have called you. We have been assessed and accredited by NAC, National Assessment Accreditation Council, with the highest grade A. Which helped us to be classified by UGC MHRD category 1. A few university, our Vice Chancellor will talk to you in a detailed manner. Before that, for that only we are meeting here. Indre, Yasaram Palgalika, the Purdavare, Magirchi Ananal, Karanam. विपाटरी यूनिवर्सिटी <coughs> A few months back, he assumed office. Earlier, before coming to this, he was in NIT. About ten years as the director of various NIT in India, including Trichy, for a few months and Pondicherry. He will give you the details about this. Uh, NAC accreditation, other university details. These are given A. This is the third cycle, and uh, and this third cycle, the NAC has entirely our vice chancellor will uh, give you in details and all that. So uh, this achievement uh, definitely, you know, made us very happy and also gave a very good boost to our faculty members to work. Further and all that, automatically we are coming under the 12B category, 12B purview of the UGC, through which we are able to attract more funds and grants, eligible to get more grants and funds, both state, central, and other funding agencies. So, in that way, or nalla mail nalla ki wait the patta din kaam niti naal, SR or bulk nalla kala kam. उंगल आने वाले कुछ तेरी हम इंद उपाधार्ड के मेला है कल भी सेवे और सेनंदा सेवे आगे सही दे बंटे वाले करने दे पलाय रखना करना माना वाले कल बोला कि इन्हों इंद्र ऐसा रों उन्हें ये बुत्तरी ये पहिते बंटे पला बुक्के निरोल अंगले पंगे बंटे वाले कराते एंड यंदे तो रे फोन आलम आंगो रे ऐसा रों माना वाले रु अभी एंकमें अतर उपिकीडिया सर्दा अनेणारे आदर अंपे मेनमेल ऊक University of the country in terms of the size of students as well as the faculty which it has, we have around 50,000 students, more than 50,000 students, and more than 3,250 faculty members on our rolls. So, for an institution of this size. to make an impact at a national level with the quality benchmark is very important and i'm very proud to tell you like my colleagues that uh, 
we have done extremely well under the new revised scheme which was launched in last October, in October 2017 by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. SRM IAC is the first one to have achieved a benchmark of 3.51 and above. Now 3.51 is important because Government of India which has started many new initiatives that recently many of you have heard of institution of eminence many of you have heard of categorization of institution category 1 and category 2 so the highest category is given for a score 3.51 and above and SRMST has been the first one to achieve that my dear friends only out of 33 institutions uh, universities which have been considered so far only three have attained it till now. We are the first one to have attained. The other one, of course, being India's number one university, the so-called Indian Institute of Science. They have also attained that. So we are in that top bracket of leading institutions of the country which have done well and proud to all of us and particularly to the region. And not only that, that we have got the next score of that 3.5 and we have got the grading of category 1 grading, which will give us a lot of liberty, which will give us a lot of freedom. I'm proud to tell you that institution with this sort of a rating and ranking possibly can start new programs, courses, schools, centers, disciplines, uh, in addition to whatever they are running without much of visits and permissions and clearances. They may start the constituent units and off campuses, which we will be very keen to start in some specialized area of campuses. That means our jurisdiction is entire country because we are a deemed university. So we can start new things in any part of the country also. It also gives us some liberty in terms of internationalization, but we may not start the international campuses to begin with. We may start research parks like some of the IITs do, incubation centers and other things which are there. And by the way, we have already backed some Government of India projects for starting the entrepreneurship and incubation in a big way. Around a 5 crore project is going to be launched by us very soon in this particular domain. We may hire foreign faculty, we may take foreign students in good numbers. That's another liberty given to us by category 1. And we have already started a big way with the students. Around 62 nationalities are present on the SRMIST campus. And we also started hiring in recent times faculty from foreign origin. Senior faculty from foreign origin have been hired by us in recent times. We may also allow various things in terms of admission uh, classifications that up to 20% of our students can be coming from foreign category or the outside India. We may also start uh, something about uh, the new academic collaborations with this particular freedom. We can join hands with foreign partners to start integrated program, dual degree programs, research uh, driven programs and various other things can be there. And obviously one more important thing that we can start programs on the open and distance learning. While doing all, all these things, we'll obviously follow the norms of the country, norms of the UGC, norms of the AICT. So we are very happy that in recent times, government has started giving autonomy and freedom like this to many institutions and SRMIST is one of the biggest beneficiary, earliest beneficiary and not only that, that we will also be coming under a category called 12B which was generally reserved for the government or government aided institutions where the government funding support will come to the institutions. So SRM IST because of its category 1 status will also fall under the 12B category automatically. It will be listed on the UGC website and henceforth will be considered on priority for the research funding by various institutions of the government including the AICTs and UGCs. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Sandi Patnagar. I am the general manager of Ramada Plaza PR Grand Gindi. And uh, today is the day when we are kick-starting the festivities. Uh, as you all know, the festive season has started with Diwali. And after that, now we today we have done the cake mixing ceremony, wherein it's it's an old uh, tradition, wherein the family and the friends get together. So our well-wishers are here with us. And uh, we have done the mixing of the liquor with all the dry nuts, raisins, and uh, fruits. And this will be aged for the next 45 days uh, to make the Christmas puddings that will be available to each one of you at Ramada Plaza. 
Sakindi. And it is not just the cake mixing today. Today onwards, the festivities at the hotel are starting. We've got a, a lot of uh, entertainment that has been lined up. We've got stand-up comedies to the food festival, including Punjabi food festival, and then subsequently the Christmas ceremonies, New Year, and whole lot of ceremonies and, uh, and the celebrations has been planned at our hotel for uh, each one of you. Please do visit us at Ramada Plaza Gindi and uh, me along with my team would really look forward to welcome and serve each one of you. Thank you.